Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're playing the game Fugal. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not how you say this game, but that's how I'm going to say it. Mm. Um, I'm very excited to be playing this. It just launched on Steam in early access. It's $9.99. It was one of my favorites from Gamescom. I've been following it for a while. It's just a beautiful game and a beautiful experience. I am playing with an Xbox 360 controller for added funness, and I have gone into options and lowered the graphics settings just a bit so that my computer can make it as smooth as I want it to be while I'm recording. I just don't think that having it on the highest setting will work out for me. Um, anyway, this video is brought to you in part by the lovely people on Patreon who support me each month so I can continue to record, cover, and write articles about all these different indie games and game jams. If you want to support me, check out this game, find me on Twitter, or find my Steam group where I curate indie games like this. There are links to all of that in the description. Let's play. Oh, I also inverted the controllers, uh, controls because I thought that, that would help um, based on me having played it before. So I'm this bird. And basically, this is like a procedurally generated game where you just uh, float around and have fun. Ooh, I s crashed into the water. I wanted to just kind of be just above the water. If you hit Y, you teleport to a high, uh, to a height. Oh, I'm like falling. Oh, I'm falling. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Right, we need to like get going. That's what we need. Ugh. <laughs> I want to be close enough to a thing. I'm gonna start up high again. I want to be close enough to like those monkeys that I turn into one. Ooh, that, like crashed me into the the scenery. Now I'm a monkey. I'm stuck in a block, but I'm a monkey. Look at I'm a monkey bird though. Oh I transfer I transferred. I became a bird again. I don't know how to get going. There we go. I wanna become some different animals. You have to sort of follow close behind them to do that. Which we should be able to do. It'll just take a bit. Ooh. I just tilted ever so much to the side. Oh, now we've got to play this game of how do I get going. Ooh, how do I get going again? Let's go up to the top. You can hear the other animals. I want to slow down. I feel like I'm going quite fast. Oh, this is beautiful. Such a relaxing world to explore. There's a lot of like other birds here. Oh, I like dove into the water. I think I'm a flamingo. Wow, I'm a lot heavier than I was before. It's a lot of work. Can we walk around? Ooh, I turned back into a bird as I hit the floor. Let's go back up high. And I'm a flamingo again. So I feel like a flamingo takes more flapping because they're heavier. Does that make sense? But now I'm me again, so I can go fast. Wow. I don't know, a lot of me playing this game is just me looking around and wondering about this beautiful world around me full of all of these animals I do very much, I feel like I turned into a different bird a small, I have small wings it takes me a while to go fast I just really love birds and animals and so 
getting to not only just sort of explore around as one, but also become other ones is really nice. And there's also um, a bit of a mention about a VR version of this. And they were showing off the VR version on the last day at Gamescom, but I didn't go to the last day, unfortunately. And just, can you imagine this in VR? Oh, man. It'd be beautiful in VR. Eventually, I'll get confident enough to go kind of low to the ground. Low to the water. Let's try to go through here. A different bird. Ooh. I almost wish that in a playthrough, it took a snapshot of every creature you became, and then at the end of that like round, whenever you got done playing, you could sort of see a snapshot of all of the different animals you got to be. Maybe the names of the different types. Oh, wow. Like these little glowy mushrooms as well. Oh, now I'm going to crash. <laughs> really thought I was going to, though. Look at it nice and close to the water. It's like some little pelicans. I think we're like a pelican. Or maybe a seagull. Yeah, we're a seagull. Pelicans are much bigger. Now this little bird again. I'm not quite sure what it is. There's bears there. Ooh, crashed. Crashed well into the water. Ugh. I see more bears though. I wasn't hovering around them for long enough to become one. Now I'm a pigeon, I think. Wow. Look at this. So, so lovely. Just even the speed that you slow down at. I don't know. As far as like open world exploration games go. I love the idea of just flying around them, especially when they're this beautiful. Hello, noises. I want to become a different animal. An animal that's not a bird. That involves being close to land. Looking around for some animals. Ooh. Ooh. That was like a really nasty fall and I felt bad so. I mean just kind of waddling around. Thought I saw some animals over there. Ooh, that was a bit weird. I hear animals. Ow. Hey, it looks like me. There's a bear. Ooh, there's another bear. I feel like I'm a bird in the color of the bear. So maybe that's what you become when you're near a land animal. You just become its sort of color scheme. 
Oh, that's neat. Makes sense, you can still fly around. Hmm. Oh, there's a cave down there. I'm gonna crash. Ugh. And I really wanna go inside this cave. Look at how beautiful I am just as a bird. Oh, I'm a bat. Alright, bat. I need you to not be stuck, okay? You need to fly. Yep, that was very difficult. We need you to fly. Nope. Now I'm a duck, it looks like. Maybe. Nope. Don't get trapped. Uh, we're gonna have to go up. I wanted to go explore that cave, but I don't think I can. I can see it down there, though. Ooh. Oh, I thought maybe we could, like, somehow get up from there and do better. Wow, that was a big bird. Oh, it's such a beautiful game. Look at these flowers, they match my like wing colors. I'm liking the way these caves formed. I feel like I'm being pulled downwards. I don't know why. Maybe there's like a current or something I'm not being aware of. Let's fly. Oh, let's fly. Ugh, we were doing so well. Once you get going and you actually oh, hi. Hi bears, we're gonna get near you, see if we can become you, or if we just become your color. Hi. Hi, what are you guys doing? I wanna be you. I don't think they want they want me to be them. Alright. But once you get going inside the cave, it's like hard to kind of slow down. But it feels so satisfying. Yeah, see like that, that's what I mean. It's so hard to slow down. You could just use the actual like brake button, but I don't think of that. I'll right, we'll have to go back to the top. This button that you can hit just to sort of reset yourself on a high point is super lovely. I'm not skilled enough to go inside the caves yet, so we'll have to just be above it. Alright, except there. I feel like it, once you start die bombing, you also pick up speed. That's what maybe I meant by saying I feel like there's a bit of a pull. Look like at I became a bird that's also a bear. Roar. We've got like a deserty area. There's less uh, foliage here. Ooh! I don't know what that was. Lots of little particle effects happening. Alright. Just slowly flying around, enjoying the scenery. It's a very peaceful game. Now we're back into more greenery. Some more birds in this area as well. I'm 
very lush forest with glowing mushrooms dotted here and there. How wonderful. I've not got much else to talk about. I could just explore around here for a while though. Which is what I like doing. very purple bird. I don't know what that was. What bird I was for a second there. Ah! Ooh. Sorry bird. <laughs> Didn't realize. Ugh, I really can't do caves. Take some more practice. Ugh, it almost hurts when the bird falls off like that. You feel really bad. I think I'm going to stop here, though. If you'd like to check out this game, there's a link in the description. And if you'd like to check me out, my info's also in the description. Ugh. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Bye.